Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we're going to discuss this particular video why um, Olivia Wilde is getting on Wendy Williams behind. Since she's having problems with her son, allegedly, um, Olivia's going to give her back some of her worst sayings that she said to her that she was being a bad mother. Okay? It's titled, Not Wild About Wendy. Olivia Wilde slams Wendy Williams for calling her the worst mother as fired host now struggles with her own son. And it was written by James Lowley for The Sun. Okay, it comes as Wendy 58 now deals with issues with her own son, 21-year-old Kevin Jr. In a new interview with the Vanity Fair, Don't Worry Darling, director Olivia 38 took the opportunity to address the comments that the former Wendy show host made in February of 2021. At the time, Olivia had just started dating and had moved in with her boyfriend, Harry Styles, 28, who stars as the lead in her new movie and is 10 years her junior in a hot topic rant wendy raised olivia you're going to look like the worst mother that ever done it like when they see that footage you left dad for harry harry's going to leave you oh sorry you snark or she snark wendy continued he's john like she's my boss she's directing my movie you know we'll promote it Wendy will talk about it as soon as the movie's done. I'm going back with a young girl, my own age, but she's hot, though. She's hot, but not hot enough to sacrifice your youth. Olivia says she definitely uh, doesn't care deeply about the opinions of the TV personality, but she was, she was upset to see the audience cheering her on. She revealed, it broke my heart. Not because I care deeply about the opinion of Wendy Williams, but the applause from the audience made me sick. I was like, why are these women finding pleasure in this moment? Is it because it somehow makes them feel better about their lives, judgments, and choices without ever wondering why I might have made those choices? Olivia and Harry have now been dating for 18 months, following her split from her longtime boyfriend Jason Sudikis. She and Jason, 46, share two young children, Daisy, 5, and Otis, 8. As the filmmaker explained to the magazine, I just remember that nobody knows my private life except for my very small trusted circle. She added, my self-worth can in no way be connected to perception because that's just a losing battle. While Olivia is now busy promoting her new film or movie, which premiered at the Venice Film Festival on September 5th, Wendy is experiencing troubles in her own family. As the U.S. Suns exclusively revealed last month, her Kevin Jr. spent $100,000 on his mom's American Express card before Wells Fargo froze the alien host account. Kevin was demanding that Wendy advisor pay the bill instead of Wendy's a source claim. However, in a statement given to the U.S. Sun, Kevin Jr. said, I vehemently deny any allegations of unauthorized use of my mother's American Express card. This is just another false narrative perpetuated to justify freezing her accounts. It comes from Wendy's alleged refusal to let her son into her New York City apartment on her birthday in July after he had traveled up from Florida for the occasion. Wendy's brother Tommy Williams claimed on the YouTube that his heartless sister was treating her son like he's the paparazzi. The disappointment, sibling added, talk about dragging. She's dragging everybody, namely her son. She's selfish. Since the Wendy Williams show was officially canceled, 
after 13 years on air in June, the mom of one has repeatedly sparked concern among fans for her health and mental well-being. She struggles with many issues, including Graves' disease and hypothyroidism, which has a which is was diagnosed with then, which was diagnosed with 19 years ago. The daytime legend has also struggled with sobriety, following her separation from her ex-husband Kevin Hunter, which caused her to check into rehab in 2019. In 2021, Wendy tested positive for COVID and was then rushed to the hospital hospital for psychiatric services. Okay, and that was pretty much it, guys. Olivia was getting into Wendy's ass as Wendy is at the bottom or the lowest point of her life. Whether Wendy um, realizes it or not, it's definitely shown in the media. And it is very troubling. But that's all I got for this video, guys, y'all. Remember to subscribe and like my videos, and I'll see you next one. Bye.